Quigg is going to be fighting Rendell Monroe. And Rendell Monroe says his ranking proves that he's a worthy opponent for the British Super Bantamweight champion. Well, obviously, like I say, like I was saying before, you know what I mean, Rendell Monroe's name's still at the number one spot, so obviously to take that spot, you obviously have to come through me, and obviously, like I said, I had to bide my time because obviously I'm a danger man. Obviously, I went out there to Japan and showed, showed what I'm all about against Nishioka, who's a talented, quality, and fully experienced fighter. And age is not a factor with you, is it? Age, age has never been a factor for me. Obviously, look at me now, you know what I mean? Who'd say I'm going 32 this year? Do you know what I mean? I always say that any 19, 20-year-old want to come and try and test me for fitness, bring it on, because he ain't going to beat me, you know what I mean? Reading between the lines, Ren, I know you're not one to sort of brag or boast or make bold predictions, but do I sort of, do I sort of sense that you think that maybe... Scots people have taken this a little bit too lightly or maybe a bit too early? I, I think so myself. I think, you know what I mean, all questions have it saying about Scott Quigg and, and Cole Frampton. Big respect to the both of them, do you know what I mean? Because they are up and coming talents. But then obviously I look at myself as to say that obviously I've been there, I've defended my European title six times, I've been in the ring with world title champions, I've been in the, even even Simeon Meldrotto, you know what I mean? He, 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 fought, fighters, he fought for yeah. a world title. Obviously Terrazas who's fighting for another world title. Do you know what I mean? So I've been in there. I think the the idea was is I don't think myself personally they wanted to fight I think they were looking to get me a world title fight and then obviously talk about Munro Quigg obviously as a, as a world champion but obviously that world title fight ain't come of come of age really obviously like I say none of the world champions want to fight me because I'm that much of a danger man the boxing board ordered that basically Scott Quigg defend his British title against me and obviously this is why the fights come along so after this fight we were going into the summer um, are you looking at world title fights then and and, and, and do you have a you know, do you have a preference? I know this is the interim, but do you have a preference of grabbing someone? I want to be a world champion. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm a down to earth. Leicester lad who used to be emptying the bins, big thanks to Elite Construction, obviously, who's changed that for me now. But obviously, to be a world champion is, 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 is a grace on its own, do you know what I mean? And obviously, I put in the hard work, the dedication, and I think I deserve a chance. Obviously, like I said, I went to Japan, I gave it my all out there, and obviously, it showed that the difference in class. But obviously, like I said, that I came from an English champion to a European champion, so I lost a lot of experience in climbing the ladder through winning the European title. So, obviously, like I say, I was still coming through, and this old dog can learn a whole heap of new tricks. What a show, eh? Rendell Munro, the bin man. We had Scott Quigg who paid four grand to go out and learn his trade. We had a couple of